Phenology is the study of the timing of life events in a plant, in an animal, um, it doesn't matter what. And um, in plants you can think of it, um, different phenological events would be the time that a seed germinates, the time the first leaves are put up, the time the first flower is produced, the time that the first seed is produced, the time the first fruit is produced, the time the plant dies. So the series of, of events that sort of mark the life of an organism is what we call phenology. Phenology is really important because it's something that responds to the environment and has a genetic component. So these days, a lot of people are using phenology to mark what changes are happening in the environment particularly with changes in temperature or rainfall that we're seeing. People have been interested in phenology for a really long time. Um, even Thoreau wrote down the time that different plants flowered in his neighborhood and kept a long series of, um, da of data across years about what was happening each year. There are a number of places where people write down um, when migratory birds arrive and keep lists of, of the first date that they see each of the birds arriving in their yard. So these are the different ways that, that we have phenological records. Because there are all these historical phenological records, we can use them to um, see how these events are changing across time. It's one of the few sets of data that we have that go back to like the 1800s or early 1900s that we can use to compare what's happening now in the 2000s. So phenological data and phenological studies are really interesting and important. And it also gives you a way to look at how um, timing of events changes in your yard. Most of you probably unconsciously mark phenology, you go, gosh, you know, the, the daffodils are late this year, or um, usually my pear tree's in bloom by now. And what you're doing is collecting those data, but not writing it down, that um, could contribute to a study of phenology.